him, you also don't know. Uh, mah. He think that he's making you feel very good, mah. Right. Cause he's faking it. Yeah, right. Right. Then he will think he's doing a good job. Is that how we are very happy working here? <laughs> <laughs> That might be the worst idea ever to go into business with your ex and your current. That is dumb as fuck! Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like primary school, you shit your pants off. What will you do? Uh, you you primary school, shit your pants off. You, you don't have shit. <laughs> you like that, like that. You like that, like that. <laughs> Then, then he said, you know your parents will be very proud of you. Yeah, I know. By the way. That's why I say the context of what age is this very important. Okay, now, 65. You fucking 65. <laughs> you still doing freaky things. I salute you, brother. new series called Get, Get It Out. Out! Yes, a couple of months ago, I put on my uh, stories, right, to let my audience, right, submit their stories or things that happen in their life that they want to let it out, la. basically get it out. La. Whether it's uh, something funny, something weird, or something really very serious. Correct. We want to give you a platform where you all can share your stories, rent whatever you want, and we will give you our unprofessional, unqualified, second our opinion. two cents worth. Yes, yes correct. Yes, yes, and yes. I hope that we are able to get some gossip today because actually that's the whole purpose of this whole show. Oh no, I actually want to help people. Right? Ah, but let's see lah. Let's see how much we can help. Just want to laugh at that. Ah, <laughs> just want to laugh. And without further ado, let's get to our first question. My boyfriend really cannot make me come. I always have to pretend that I'm having orgasm. Very tiring. How ah? Okay, this is a question for Ben already. <laughs> I, ben. I, I thought you meant the story shot. Uh, yeah, it's a story shot. Uh. Not, not a big shot. <laughs> Put yourself in this uh, person's shoe. Your girlfriend cannot come, but she always pretend. And one day you find out, how will you feel? Wow. Honestly, I'll feel hurt. You'll feel hurt? Confirm. Because it's a form of lying. Then how would you want her to tell you? Because this, this is a problem, right? Actually, how I, to let down your ego like It's you. not about ego, uh, right? Uh, right. Sometimes you need to be honest. Right. Honesty is the best policy. Right. <laughs> it's better to hurt him for like, five minutes. Say, hey, you're not this is not a five minute hurt, this no. is my change. His. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. If I find out that, you faking it, right? I'll yeah. be hurt for a very long while. But if you tell me, actually, if you like that, like that, you like that, like that, <laughs> then, <laughs> then, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Like, you know, la, like that, la. Okay, okay. Then at least I know what to do, ma, then right. we can improve together. Oh, right. 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 So, right, right, right. it's not a his problem, it's a we problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 You don't tell him, you also don't know, ma. Right. He think that he's making you feel very good, ma, because right. he's faking it. Yeah, right. Right. Then he will think he's doing a good job. Confirm. Right, then he will right. keep doing the same thing. Is that how we are very happy working here? <laughs> Okay, let's say your girlfriend cannot make you come. Then that's different. You know why? Why? Why is it different? Because you can see what guy. No, guys, no. that's the 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 substance. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's okay, wait, wait. I ask you. If it's your girlfriend cannot make you come, how would you tell her? Oh, oh, oh you just make an excuse. Oh no lah, today I'm very tired. As a virgin myself, ah. Uh. Oh, you <laughs> virgin ah? You just don't want to do this, you virgin ah? I was. Say honest ah, like maybe today I know few. Okay, then what if it consecutively happened for a week? Honest, so, honest. That sounds like a his poem. It's not legit. Must go then, and check already. Like, I think get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be very honest, right? Uh, because I got testosterone problem, right? Uh. I have virtually no sex drive. I've been trying to get it fixed, but the doctor say the first step is to lose weight. Mm. My weight was yeah. not a problem. No, because, because my weight problem uh, comes from a liver damage thing. Mm. Yeah, right. So it affected my testosterone that I really virtually have no sex drive. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not the best person to advise this. However, <coughs> I feel like this type of thing can be quite tricky. Sit down and properly talk to him. Yes, Hi, Ryan Ben. So my story is how I found out my mother-in-law is untrustworthy and a liar. It was my 21st birthday and she decided to give me a Chanel card holder, but it was fake. She said she bought it from a boutique, but it was all lies. I sneakily went to the pawn shop to try to authenticate, but only to find out that the wallet was fake. I proceeded to check on the gold bangle she gifted me during our wedding. But guess what? It was fake again! She even dared to insert the fake gold bangle in my hand in front of everybody during our tea ceremony. I actually had the boss to confront her and her reply was, I didn't know it was fake. I paid 388 or 488 for it and it was bought online from Hong Kong. Hello? 388 or 488 can buy such a Heavy banger me. My parents are pissed at her, but they didn't want to start a drama with her. Could you please advise me on how I should move on from this situation? My take is, it's a thought that comes. Uh, honestly, uh, speaking, why didn't you give the benefit of the doubt that it could be she really couldn't scam? Why could, why you didn't give the benefit of the doubt that maybe, maybe uh, she really don't have the money mm. and this is the best she can mm. do. But without knowing the full context, I only know all this. What, from what you read just now, right? She seemed like 
this wasn't isn't the first time already. Right. She was really very, very angry. The Chanel wallet was the first tipping point. Mm. Right. The gold banger was the second one. Yeah. But I think yeah, it's the in-between. It's always the small little things that oh, build right, up right, that right. makes the story there, there are blow. Other things yeah. like, these are the this is just a like, more major uh, ones. These are the milestones. Yeah. Like, right. So I feel that this isn't the first time that the mother-in-law has lied to her right. in her face. And she decided to just swallow it until she cannot take it anymore. Right. I agree. It's like imagine one day uh, I buy you fake stuff. Right. You always do it. <laughs> But at the same time, I also do feel like maybe the mother gonna scam. You know why? Why? Right. my mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, My yeah. mother is the type, she has to go Facebook. Wow, see the advertisement, liang liang, oh, then she buy. Uh. Buy the crap for $5, then after that, lose all the money in Taiwan. Buy what crap? You, you don't know got this scam. Oh, they, they sell like, say, like $5 crap, right? Then they say, must download this app, put in your bank details, right? Then you, your whole bank will be wiped out and you won't get your crap. It was a real scam. Oh. <laughs> that, that was a real scam. Yeah, yeah. because I, I have to agree, right? Like, for example, if me, uh, I buy the banger, it's heavy. I don't look real fake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you me, it, you may be an expert on it, but she may not be, you know? It may not know. come from a malicious yeah, point of view. Yeah. La. It may not, la, you know? So how do you want to move on from this situation? Ignore. Please. For me, it's ignore. I Hopefully, you don't stay with your mother-in-law. Because if you do, that situation is never easy. How come the husband like... Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no la, actually the husband will be Jia Zai Zhong. Yeah, confirm. Very difficult. One is mother, one is wife. Eh. One thing you should do is find out why. If she don't care about you, right? She won't even bother buying you. Yeah, confirm. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's okay. still money, eh. It's yeah. still four hundred. Four hundred dollars of fake things. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> why not go check on? Like yeah. where she buy it from. Yeah. Then you know like, oh actually you tell her, hey, ma, this is Yeah. Teach her to do the right way. Yeah. Right, that, like uh, approach her from a place of love, not confrontation or hate. I realize right, all the misunderstanding in the world, right, is because of misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah. You never properly find out. More often or not, right? It's not people want to gu yi, xian hai ni, or maliciously want to harm you or scam you. Approach her with from a place of love. Okay, this one easy. All can give your views. Going NS now, please give tips and tricks on how to survive. Survive, especially PTP and BMT. PTP is oh PTP you is never take the uh, you never take IPPT. Oh okay yeah okay, yeah. Okay. But there's also another one called BP which I went to. BP is a uh, fat people. Oh, <laughs> fat squad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> basically, you go through another nine weeks. Eight yeah. weeks, a total of 19 weeks of BMT. Hey, but I have to say, uh, I saw people that go the BP one, right? They really lose a lot of weight. Mm, I, I did. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the best weight loss. I can. lost a total of 12. Oh, <laughs> in the nine weeks? Uh? No, in the 19 weeks. <laughs> it took a bit longer for me. Uh, because during the nine weeks, I realized I'm going to lose a lot of weight because I keep eating. Yeah, <laughs> no, I thought oh. they were ratioing your food, uh, I'm always fun. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, this is one thing that I always tell my friend. Back then when we are all going through army, right? BP or BTP batch right, is the best thing. Why? Uh, normal people like you you do 9 weeks BMT, yeah. right? Uh, you don't have time to mix with your batchmate. Uh, 19 weeks oh, of going through shit together, right? You'll be very close to them. So how many of them you still contact? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's because I miss I, <laughs> Colin. <laughs> you still remember me? <laughs> we want, I remember you, Colin. <laughs> is going through the whole thing together. Yeah. The first 9 weeks or 10 weeks, right? It's all physical training. Fat people like us, it's gonna be fucking tough. Right, right, then right, we right. all suffer together. 19 weeks, 3 months, you all go together. You're sure about block leave, I went the whole week. I went to Taiwan with my BMD. Wow, uh, wow, I will we never were, do that, yeah. We were very close. When we finish, uh, we POP, right? They asked to go chalet, uh, nobody want to go. So I don't want to see you already, anyway. Yeah, just like, we, because <laughs> it's, it's the bond, you get there. Lor. And yeah. no matter where you go, lah, after BMT, you go SCS or OCS, right? To me, my BP phase of BMT was was the best time in uh, NS for me. Looking back, la. Looking back yes. but going through that that time? Uh, of course not easy. La. Yeah, you have yeah. to do PT, you go outfield for the first time, it's not gonna be easy, yeah. but it was the most enjoyable time. Right. You mm. still haven't answered the question. What's your tips and tricks? Oh, my tips and tricks is enjoy your BMT. <laughs> How really? Yeah? You really enjoy your BMT. Okay, okay. Going with the mindset of come out with more than you came in with. My goal was to uh, uh, lose weight ma, right, right, and, right. and gain a bit of discipline. I think right. I, I gained a lot of discipline right. after NS. Yeah, because last time was. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the improved version. Yeah, yeah. This is the improved version. Yeah. How about you? You're a commando, right? Hey, hey commando, wow, commando, officer. Wow, wow. this is wow. wow, this is hey, wait, wait, I need to tell you a fun fact about this, uh, this story. Uh. So Nigel is a commando officer, right? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And right, he got that role unwillingly. Unwillingly? Huh, really? <laughs> okay. How because, does one get that role unwillingly? Because right, for commando or NDU, if I'm not wrong, you need to go through interview. Views. It's called VA, VA. It's a vocational assessment. Uh, yeah. Before you even enlist. Yeah, so it's like a physical test. A right. mini physical test. It's right. very easy. Anybody can do it. Yeah. It's just a normal, like, maybe they ask you to do a few push-ups, a few oh. sit up just to see, like, your mobility and right, stuff. Right, right. Right. Then, at the end, there'll be an interview. Ah. So basically, I was interviewed by this captain. Ah. So he sat and me down. And you didn't want to be commando? Right, at that point, I didn't want to. Uh. I, I didn't, like, have a very good mindset about going army. Because oh, I right. just very sane. Because from my letter that came, I was right. going in in July already. This right. is, like, almost the early 
earlier part already. Right, right. Yeah, but for all my friends like Ben Dior, right, they are going in October, oh, November. So they got a lot of the Yeah, they can like go and like right, right, right. enjoy. So I'll be sian, right? right? So I, I thought I can siam. Right. <laughs> so I, I went there, then I sat down, then a the guy looked at me and like say, uh, so how was the, in the, like, the training today and all of the stuff like that? Then he said like, what's your take? Do you want to join this formation? Then I looked at him, no. <laughs> And then, then he, no, no, even more quite like, No. <laughs> wait, 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 he said, well, want to join this formation means commando la. Yeah, commando ah. formation la. Uh, then I just straight said, no, I don't want. Then he, he, he was a bit taken aback. Then he like, you know, it's a very uh, prestige uh, formation. Everybody want to join. You know? yeah. then, then I just like, no, I don't want. Then he said, you know, your parents will be very proud of you. Then like, you wear the red beret, all this, right? Ah. Then I, uh, yeah, I know, but I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then I get. <laughs> because uh, quite, uh, yeah. I told him, I said, because you took quite already, you the guy want to torture you, put you in the formation. Yeah. So you can personally torture him. Yeah, then so when, when I got the letter that I go in commando, right, then I, I like, well, a bit sad. Yeah, but it was the, it was one of the best time. Because for commando, is mono intake. And then from the start of BMT to the end of your ORD, right, right. you're stuck with the same people. Oh, so this so is the ultimate bonding. Right? Yeah, the it's mono intake. So it's, it's really very fun. And then I didn't regret anything. Right. I get to go so many countries. I get to do so many things. Right, right, right. That like a normal NSF we'll is very, yeah, it's a very privileged. Right, I feel, right. I feel very privileged. Right. I went to Taiwan about four times. Wow. In my army. Eh. That's considered very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you go in army, I right, don't have like those sian kind of feeling like the government take two years away from you. Mm. Go in with the mindset that you're gonna make new experience and mm. new friends. Mm. I agree. Right, right. Whether you like it or not, whether you sian or not, you still have to do it. Might as well enjoy. Yes, yes might as well enjoy. enjoy. Because yeah. if you if you're gonna go in with the damn sian mindset, right, you're just only gonna make yourself suffer. Just enjoy the process. La. And I also think it really teaches us a lot of skills that we otherwise won't learn. I went to civil defense, which is uh, not not Nimana Jiang Shong. But I feel like I learned things that is applicable uh, in terms of emergency like the CPR, fire, uh, firefighting and all that right. It's good to know that you have this knowledge and then you know how to stay calm. First. Enjoy your NS. Uh, don't try to run away from it. You can't. Uh, <laughs> make some friends. It's against yeah. the law actually. Yeah, it's against the law, okay? So don't don't run away from it. I'm glad that we were forced to go. She really gave those uh, proper advice. So about the illegal stuff that you can do inside. <laughs> My partner of two years is looking to start a business with her ex. Before we got together, she made it clear that they were just colleagues at a previous company. They meet almost every day to discuss the business despite me telling her that I feel uncomfortable. She still has her ex staff as they used to live together. I don't want to marry someone whom I feel is disrespecting my boundaries. Should I leave this relationship? <laughs> Wow, this Good question. I personally feel uh, that girls and guys can have a platonic friendship. Okay, I believe in that. Not a lot of people believe in yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. But what I believe is respecting boundaries. Ah. Even though I may believe in this way, if my partner don't, then I'll respect that. There are some boundaries that cannot be crossed. For example, if I were to be friends with my ex, right, I won't keep the person's stuff, you know, especially like things that like my own girlfriend can see. Right. Right. Let alone starting a business with Correct. her. Correct. Right, right, right. Starting a business, I can close one eye. Really? Uh? I can close one eye. That means now if your current girlfriend is gonna start a business with her ex, you are okay with it. If it's pure business, because it's work, man. Yeah, because it's work. Professionalism. Okay. Hey, <laughs> uh, okay, professionalism. Yeah. professionalism. Okay, okay. So, if I want to start business with my ex, what I could I do is when I meet for a business meeting, I'll ask you, you want to come along? Ah. Mm. Then establish that there's, I have nothing to hide. Then you come along with me, blah, 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 do the business with me. Or I can ask if you want to join the business as well. That might be the worst idea ever to uh, go into business with your ex and your current. No, okay. That is dumb as. Fuck! Okay, I have not thought about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that is horrendous okay. idea. Do, do not, not do that. that. Do not do that. That is why we are unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, I, I want to show that I have nothing to hide. And you will respect the boundary. You meet every day, it's fine. Hey, business meet every day. I do not meet this guy every day. Yeah, no, actually, why do you need to? Most of the time, we can just use WhatsApp or Zoom or no, You can call. Uh, she already tell you she's uncomfortable. You are the one that's going to find more, yeah. right. a solution for that. Yeah, you yeah. cannot brush it off and say, yeah, it's nothing. Why? It's really yeah. nothing. Yes, it may be nothing. To her, it may be something. Yeah. What if she at home right while you're at a meeting right maybe you're really doing nothing maybe you're sitting 10 meters away but should be taking your french kissing yeah okay. <laughs> you okay. need to do something about that right? should you leave this relationship if you right? are this guy la. if this is the only problem then no la. Uh, I don't think it's big enough right, to, right, right. Right. I know what you are thinking you could be thinking like is she still in love with the ex we won't know you nobody knows right yeah, yeah, yeah. the best way is to confess France. That's your advice, ah? Uh? Yeah. You're unprofessional and yeah, unqualified. Yeah, yeah. You must remind them, eh. Little I know what you I know what you can do. You go show your girlfriend, right? 
uh, TikTok videos. You know, a lot of TikTok videos I read. Uh, right. Now I realize actually everybody think differently. Yeah, yeah. Then I also cannot be like, I force you to think how Correct. I think. Correct. Yeah, go do this kind of thing. Mm. Or maybe couple therapy might work. I never tried before. I heard it's quite good because you have a third opinion. I have a professional opinion, not ours. How about you, Nigel? What's oh, your advice? Because we have a lot of missing information here. Yeah, yeah, this, right, this right, is right. really. We don't know how long they've been together. Correct, right. If you tell me like maybe two, two years, months. Two years. Two years. Uh, together, two I think years. two years is still very short period of time. Right. To me, la, to right. me. Maybe the trust haven't built up yet. And right. you must understand that she knows her ex longer than you. Eh. That but they separately, but they don't have contact. Eh. Yeah, but, but they still know each other. Man. Not why they start a business. Right, right, right. 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 The trust between you and your girlfriend, right? How much is there? La? Do you allow her to go out and do her own things independently? Or it's just that you just don't like her ex? Right, right. <laughs> like oh, if it's, if yeah, it's yeah, partner yeah, yeah, with yeah. any other guy, oh, okay. It's just that one fella. Okay. That because one fella. When a guy tells you that this guy is not good for you, right? The guy will know because mm. he's, he himself is also a yeah, guy. I agree, I agree. Like they always say women got six sex. I think guys also have one. Yeah, guys like also you know have. This guy up to no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, right, we are guys. guys. We are guys. Up to no good. Yeah, we are guys. Hey, what? Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, guys. Especially you. I'm up to some good. <laughs> we know what the fella thinking. Yeah. So there's this saying I, I read online on TikTok. Right? Trust your gut, but on the way, search your heart. Whoa. But there it is. Watch more TikTok videos. Okay, but I'm professional. <laughs> My one. Don't come from TikTok. I have a definitive answer whether you should leave this relationship. Oh, 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 okay? yes. This works two ways. Uh. If the relationship has no trust, there's nothing. Eh? Yeah. I trust my girlfriend to do anything she wants. She go out with a guy to watch movie. She go out with a guy to eat dinner. She even go to the guy house to drink. She trusts me, I trust her. If the whole relationship got no trust, there's nothing. Number two, you set your boundaries and they don't respect it. Continue to test the boundaries. There's no trust, there's no respect. Fuck off from this relationship, <laughs> I will say. I honestly tell you, you're wasting your time on it. It's never going because now you all are dating it. It's the honeymoon period. Correct, correct. You think you get married will get better? No. It goes downhill from there. And then when you in introduce complications like kids, the love will be diverted to the kids. Since there's no trust and there's no uh, boundaries, respected, just leave. But this, again, is my unprofessional advice. I know it's very harsh. As a 36 year old man that have been through uh, quite a bit of relationship, right? Mm. I feel like I can say that. I, I know that feeling, uh, sometimes in a relationship, right, you feel like you can trust this person because the person has gained your trust. But some relationship, you paranoid. You don't know whether you can believe the person's word. It's like that one, no? Just sometimes the vibe not all, not right. Yeah, wow, this one, ah. Uh. Raba. Reason X. I don't know what that's what I mean. Okay, Reason X told me it's a red flag to assume going to club often means cheating will happen. Few months later, it did happen and I laughed at her face and broke up. Few weeks later, I heard she went to some overseas music festival with some guy she met in a club and got raped in the toilet. Wait, after whoa, whoa. she told her friends that she will join them later and disappear with a bunch of guys. And I'm secretly happy that happened. I'm going to hell for this. Oh. This guy really letting it all out. Oh, he really letting it all out. I think it's very immature of you to think like this. Okay, personally, okay? Admittedly, when I was young, right, I am more insecure. I am not confident with myself. So mm. I always feel like, oh, my girlfriend want to cheat my, uh, on me. Uh, my, my girlfriend go club want to cheat. But I realize one thing. If one person want to cheat, don't need to go club. One. Anywhere can cheat. Even a library can cheat. Even a taxi stand also can cheat. There's no <laughs> point. <laughs> la. Whatever. La. I'm just saying. La. It is very unfortunate your ex really got raped because of this situation. But that doesn't mean you're right. You cannot be happy when people cannot rape lah. I think that's bad lah. I think that going to club doesn't mean cheating. Mm, you know, right. I agree that a lot of things go on in a club. But it's like saying like, if I go play a simple game of mahjong, I might yeah. gambling addict. Right. Right. I might just want to have fun with my friends, catch up, you know? Right. Going to a club is some people just like to enjoy the music, yeah. rave, you know? Whatever they do there is their own choice. Mm. It doesn't mean go club means cheat. Yeah. Right. I think it's more where he's coming from is that uh, why put yourself in that situation? Wow. Right, right. Like, for example, if I'm a girl, why would I place myself in that situation where I have the opportunity to cheat? Like, why place myself where there's guys around me like touching me because the cut's so squeezy. Like, right, yeah, right, right, you know? Right, right, right. Why give others opportunity? It's right. about the opportunity. Lo. Also, the fact that she's your ex, I don't think she should like, think so much about oh, yeah, her. Like, yeah. What she do with her life is that's her problem. Yeah. Sounds like you're the one that cannot move on. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the advice should be given to you Hey, yes, move on, brother. Yes, Finish ready. Why are you still gloating? Hello. Be the bigger man. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't do this sort of distasteful thing. Yeah. You focus on your own life. Huh? Find a better girl. Okay? Ah.
Next question, 25. But stayed single my entire life. Never dated, never flirted, never been in a relationship before. Just can't seem to find the one. Wow, this is jealous. This is I have a very legit advice. There's not much people like Nigel and his girlfriend where their first love is the, the one already. I feel like you should at least try to date to get to know yourself better, to get to know what type of person you like. Mm. Don't just say my next relationship will be the final one. I think that's very narrow-minded. Then you also have to be very, very brutal and realistic about yourself. Why are you single, never dated, and never flirted? Is it because there's something weird about you, wrong about you, or <laughs> you fucking ugly? I don't know. Hey, 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 no. hey, 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 wait, let me, wait, 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 the testosterone wait, also not so let me finish first. <laughs> ugly is no, no one's fault. I just believe that maybe you are unhygienic or untidy. Lazy. Or lazy. lazy okay, I think uh, with a proper haircut, some skincare, go to the gym a little bit, it will definitely improve your look. Right. Put some effort in yourself. Yeah. Right, right. Anna, I recently saw this video. Uh, just by changing the way you walk and talk, right, you can really improve your looks. Tenfold. Your posture lah. Yeah, posture. Your posture. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit strange, isn't it? Talk like this from now on. Alright. Your posture, not your accent. Posture la, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> How you talk? Huh? I mean, yeah. how you talk? <laughs> <laughs> I've dated a few times yeah. and I feel like I think maybe because you have too high standards uh, Maybe you are pressuring yourself to find the one Yeah, yeah. I think so because I feel like I grew a lot throughout All relationship. the relationships lah I realised that I know what I want and this is the one Right and you, I personally feel right, there's nobody right, as a hundred percent man. There is bound to have a uh, differing opinions between you and your partner. Sure, have one. You cannot just because right, y'all don't agree on one thing right. He's not the one. Yeah, mm. she's not the one. I feel like it's how y'all come together, work together. Whether y'all can solve it together. Do you really have love for the person? Care about the person genuinely? Then that's when I feel like okay, that, that's the one. Mm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't just because simply I wouldn't agree. Yeah. If something you do, then I will feel like uh, you're not the one for me. Right, right, right. Whenever you see someone right, like for example, I see Nigel. Then I'm but hey, Nigel, mm -hmm. he look a bit like, oh, he could hear a bit dirty. Right? Oh, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, some people, they always yeah. like, hey, he's a bit lazy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a bit hey, weird. He's la. still a bit crooked. So right? judgmental. Yeah, right, right, right. then that's why you always felt like you couldn't find the one. Right, right. I feel like that's a lot of what uh, people think. That's why I hear from friends that they also stay single for their life. I don't think it's a very right mindset to me. Mm -hmm. la. I, I feel like, Everything you need to go and try one, ma. You 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 need to go out there and explore. Yes, right, yes, right, yes, right, yes. Right, Don't right. close off yourself and say that I want a very serious one. Just but say. but please be honest with yourself. Mm. Uh. If you want a be beautiful girlfriend, go and try for a beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. Be confident. Yeah. Yeah. It's really just go and be confident. Yeah, I think confidence is the greatest beauty one can have. Uh, please send in more uh interesting yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So, but, but I love your stories. Yeah, it's a shame yeah. we can't go through all 65 of y'all. Yeah. But do do us a favor, keep your story within like two paragraph max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. very hard, very hard, okay? <laughs> what were your aspirations when you were 18? I have a part-time job and my own business. Ooh. I also have too many things. I want to pursue, but I don't know what interest I can turn into a job. I'm artistic and have interest in sight. What was your aspiration when you were 18? When I was 18. You just want to be 19. <laughs> when I was 18, I, I, I hope to finish was NS. in poly year 2. Oh, I haven't year, gone year, year, one, oh, year yeah. 1. I just wanted to enjoy poly because I just finished all level. But this guy already have a business. Right, and right, right, and right, he already right. know what he wants to do already. Right, right, right. You're already the top 25 percentile already. Because yeah. at 18, I, did, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. My aspiration, I've said many times. I want to be a radio DJ. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, long story short, we granted your wish uh, for one day. Uh, yeah, for one day, uh, yeah, yeah. Please watch the video. Uh. <laughs> uh, I wanted to be a radio DJ because, like I said, Matters was a very big inspiration for me. Right, right, right. I actually tried to apply for Mass Corp in NP. Right. And I failed. Uh. I was uh, going through JPSAE. Uh, the special, hell is this, yeah? special admission. I didn't go through the interview, I didn't give portfolio. Uh. Then the day before, I was in the chalet. And I brought my portfolio to the chalet uh. because I had an interview before that. Right. I lost my portfolio there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you didn't make it because you lost. lost uh, I mean, maybe because I wasn't good enough, but I think one big reason was I went to the interview with nothing to show. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there, then I just say one piece of paper. And my resume. <laughs> yeah, they even entertain you, right? And then I already came to my resume. <laughs> it's not even a resume, it's like the teacher's letter. <laughs> What I can say right is start with one. You have too many, doesn't matter. You keep thinking how what 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 right. You never even start. You got your whole life yeah. ahead. 18 years old, yeah. yeah. You got your whole life old, ahead. I, I started my first full time with him, eh, and I was what 22. Right, right. right? I took my first step. Ah, uh, you were willing to try right. because you were asking if uh, I have aspirations. I did, but. You see where am I now? I'm not a radio DJ. I only think about it. I only have a dream. But right. did I go and try? 
Right. I mean, I didn't try for Ray DJ, but I, I had passion for the media industry. Right, right, right. So I took a first step to try. At that point in time, I was very lost, honestly, right. because right. I studied marine engineering and I know I'm not going to do engineering because right. I, I hate it so much. <laughs> and then right, I was very grateful that I took the first step. If they accept or not, is another thing because there's bound to be failures. I feel like you are 18 years old, you got part-time plus your own business, right? That's crazy. And nah. you already know what you like, psychology. Yeah, yeah you, you know already know what you like, right? You're already ahead of a lot of yeah. people. Your peers, you're ahead of your everybody. Only move is to tie on your shoelaces and move. Yeah, actually yeah. do it. Don't scare, just do whatever you want. Ah, like The Rock say, one day or day one. Wow. wow. I like that quote. So this person said, last year someone posted trained commuters not giving pregnant mom seats oh. and created some hoo-ha about all this. Being pregnant is hard carrying water balloons everywhere regardless mm. sleeping or awake. Mm, People are saying those didn't give up the seats because they're tired. Do you know who is tired? Pregnant people? They need sleep and instead of sleeping at home, they're traveling like normal people. Right. Do you know those pregnant who already mum need to... Hmm, your English not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Be constructive. Uh, uh, okay, do you know those is. who are pregnant need to get up even earlier? I don't really know that, but okay, now we know. Right. Six out of seven seats in MRT are men and students. Mm. Do you get that from a survey or? I don't know, man. <laughs> Her own spot she No, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Pretend to sleep or pretend not to see pregnant women. This is not for me to say. I don't know what's the exact situation, but I agree with you. As long as woman can eat, we can walk, right? We should always give seat to people that in need lah. Whether the person have a lot of grocery bag, whether it's an old man, whether it's a pregnant woman, we should always give them lah. But I have one issue with this. Hey, yo. You all as the pregnant ladies, right? Sometimes you all have to think ah. Maybe they genuinely never see you. Mm. So you don't go there and shove your stomach in front of their face. <laughs> Instead you ask, sorry ah boy, can I have the seat? Oh, as simple as that. Ask, la, ask, ask la, first, Don't go right, assume right. La. Don't put like that. Okay. Then they never notice you, you angry. I can defend them. Because Why? it happened to me before. Yeah. I mistaken someone for being pregnant. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was quite bad. I was quite embarrassed. You know what's the worst part? She she took the tra the train with me for quite quite quite, quite long. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever else I sit down, cause I was passive, so I usually wear seats, man. Cause it's the last stop. <laughs> so I sit down, then I like use phone. Then the ride from passive to Boon is super long. It's yeah. about an hour. Yeah, yeah. Then imagine if I don't sit, I confirm tired. So I sit down. So I sit down, I use phone. Then suddenly at Bedok, this lady came in lah. Ah. She she stand in front of me. Then I like I really don't want to stand up. If I, I stand at Verdo, and maybe Queen Star, I close her eyes, I stand up, I stand oh. a few stuff. But wow, Verdo, then I, I look at the sign. <laughs> so I look at sign, I look at the sign, then I like, okay, like, what? T by 20 more stop. <laughs> <laughs> then I like, wow, okay, I, I pretend like I never see. Then inside, I felt like a bit bad already. Yeah. So I look at her, I say, like, I, I look at her, then I stand up, then I like, oh, you can sit. Then she looked at me like, she's very confused. <laughs> <laughs> she like, then she like, oh no, no, don't eat. Then I scared my coach. I thought she was pregnant. Then I like, hey, no, 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 you, you just sit, just sit, never mind. Yeah. Then she like, yeah, sure, sure, sit. Then I look at her. Then I think, think, think. Then I think, she really not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> because she, I think she was just fake. <laughs> so, okay, you didn't have confirmation that. I didn't have confirmation because I don't know. Right, right, she, right. first, she never said anything. She just stand in front of me. That, but then, like, because you know MRT very squeezy, yeah. then like, you know, sometimes you will like stand very close to the yeah, person sitting yeah. now. Then like, I thought she was pregnant. Right, you, her, you might not see the full. Yeah, yeah. then her, her, her tummy already like, uh, <laughs> a bit near yeah. my face already. <laughs> so like, like, okay. very hard to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fall, like, and, and you offered the seat, come on. Yeah. yeah. And, and then day, she, did, she didn't know that you think she was pregnant, right? She think that you are just being no, a gentleman. Com no, no, confirm. You no, confirm, no. Then I feel so bad there. Then after I realized she's not pregnant, right, I like, Slowly, inch, like, <laughs> inch, inch, yeah, the next carriage. Yeah. <laughs> if you are pregnant and you want to see, you simply just yeah. ask for it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't think anyone is unreasonable enough to say no. If the first person say no, just ask the next person. Yeah, there are so many people. You know? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like that. But my take is, I, I, I always tell myself, it's not about empathy. Mm. Right? To me, it's not empathy, it's not compassion. It's karma. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I imagine, I imagine, I, I imagine myself, right, as, uh, let's say I'm a sick person. I'm old, oh, elderly. Mm. Sorry, I'm very distracted by imagine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very distracted. Imagine. You just let it slide, you think. <laughs> you just try to cover it, huh? You better not make me stand there. <laughs> I always imagine, right, that, uh, being elderly is like how you are sick. Right? You're okay. very sick. Right, right. 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 Very frail, right. 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 Imagine you're in that situation, you're in the MRT, no one give the seat to you. Wow. Right. Right. So you scared that happened to you when you're <laughs> old? Oh, yeah. <laughs> As a young, able bodied man, right, right? I stand up. Yeah, maybe 20 stops tall, right. but does it take away a lot of things from you? Right, 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 Imagine right. you're sick and weak. 
Right. It's very, yeah, very yeah, tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. Confirm. Yeah, and maybe the uncle also need to take this off. Honestly, honestly, if I'm an old man with a walking stick, right, at the age, right, I will just poke the guy. Go <laughs> ah, This is the problem. <laughs> wait, this, this is, is the this problem. Is the people that don't give your wait, seat. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say first, ah, uh, it takes some graciousness, lah. You really need the seat, just yeah. ask. Maybe it with you. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I really dislike the whole reporting culture whereby you take a video or picture of that person pretending to be asleep or what, and then paint this whole narrative yeah, book, a storm book or mothership. I think it's a very toxic behavior. Mm. My first question every time I see that is, do you even try to ask the person? Yeah, correct. If you the ask seat? really, then the person don't want that. Ah, okay. okay, fine. Mm. The person might not be even aware yeah. that you wanted the seat. Genuinely unaware. So, ah, make this world a better place, okay? Okay, Nigel, you choose a question? Okay, come, let me choose. Okay, like? Wow, okay, I got one. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's fast. Very fast. Wow. Every time I go for my Brazilian waxing session, you all know what's Brazilian yeah, waxing yeah, yeah, session? Yeah. Okay. You know right? I don't know. So this this uh, individual went for his his or her session, and during the session, uh, because it's extremely painful. I don't know if you all tried it before. I have tried it before. It's Very extremely painful. painful. I tried it before. Yeah, I tried it before. It's the most painful experience you ever have in your life. It's one of the most experienced <laughs> experience I have in my life. It's right. the one of the most experienced experience. <laughs> I, I call you, bro. I call no, you. you. Try to imagine. <laughs> During the session, because it's so painful, right? The person pee a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Yeah, really. It's a guy or girl? I don't know. The person never say. The, the person peed a bit. Because too painful, right? I don't know the beautician. Is it called beautician? Maybe thought it's sweat or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like yellow color. It's like, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, then like this person is like, what will y'all do in this situation? Wow, what? this... Okay. From what I understand, I have a friend that works as a beautician. Ah. Right. He said that all sorts of things also see before. Quite normal. Yeah. What, what we feel embarrassed, right? They already see a lot of it. Yeah. I think that part you can be assured that it's just a funny story to them. Yeah, 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 but yeah, what yeah. will I do? Ah? Wow, I will never go back to that place again. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I will never, never go back to that place ever again. So I think it's also a natural reflex. La. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like primary school, you shit your pants. Oh. What will you do? Uh, you you very school shit your pants up. You you Okay, wait, uh, I explain first. Uh, in swimming pool, I thought it was a fart la. <laughs> <laughs> you were confused. You are confused. Let that premise go near. Shit in your pants. That means the whole process. No, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like the whole thing. <laughs> 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 Between your shit. butt cheeks and your underwear. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. It's the. You know like, you, you like want to fart. Uh, then right, like, right. cannot come, so you force, you know you force uh, it a bit. Uh, uh, then you force it a bit too hard. Then <laughs> from gaseous state right. become solid. Oh, <laughs> <liquid. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> if you squeeze a bit harder, right, become right, right. solid. What Ryan said is true also. But <laughs> let me tell you my embarrassing story to make you feel a little bit better. To this individual, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Uh. I shit my pants before as well. <laughs> yeah, and I in fact, down. I shit in the MRT station. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me get it get serious. No, no, it's not You're like- You're laughing at his own life. You know what was that, bro? No, it's not like I go there, I just squat that. I never, I never, I never. So every Saturday, my dad will bring me to uh, Novina Square to buy Legos. <laughs> I want to know how does Lego link all the way. No, 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 you said, no, you said, okay, okay, okay. So I was on the way in the MRT to the, uh, to the Lego shop, right? right. And, then, and then, like, I, I need to shit so badly. Okay, right. <laughs> like, my stomach didn't pain. But like, I tell myself, okay, I can run one, you know? Right, right. Like, okay, okay. Wow, then I kuru kuru kuru. Then I just start kuru kuru tell. Then I okay lah, relax a bit. Then I relax too much. Then I like it soiled my pants. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. Soiled my pants, right? But I never say. <laughs> So, but you know that happened already lah. I, I know. But you, you too scared to say lah. Yeah, confirm can feel one. Yeah, confirm can feel one. You just scared to say lah. I scared to say because I was still in the MRT. Yeah, yeah. Right? confirm feel And then right, right, I alighted the MRT. And obviously, at that point, I knew you say it, right? So yeah. I tell my dad, I say, uh, Papa, I'll tap you. So after that, right, uh, because I need to buy Lego. Yeah. Then my dad say, okay, we we'll go clean your pants first. Then because my pants is dirty. Right? <laughs> He need to buy a new pants for me. And the pants cost $40. Oh, oh, so I say, expert. okay, well, my this pants me on my Lego. <laughs> oh. So I had to go home oh. with just a new pants. <laughs> and uh, sh- pants with shit. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's natural process in life. Yeah, right. Sometimes you can't control. Uh, it's like, for example, you go to a massage, right. you will fart. 
Because right. you're too relaxed. Yeah. You know? Again, this is it. Confirm. Confirm have one. Yeah. No, you know what? You're too relaxed. You're too relaxed. The one time I'm in Bangkok, the person pressed my back. You're supposed to crack the back, right? But. My advice for you is uh, take note next time. <laughs> <laughs> like now you know that you might pee a little bit, you control. You oh, you, tell the, you tell the person in advance. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, uh, you, I feel like you got two solutions. One is every time you go for a Brazilian wax, go to a different place. <laughs> Second is always go for the same person. Ah, I let the person so know. at least only yeah, the one person, person know. Like, uh, they're professionals. La. They, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure they experience worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah, interesting, story. interesting story. Yeah. Thanks for the laughs. She is good natured. Uh, yeah, when you embrace, just. Yeah, yeah, just love you. Oh, shit, then Marty, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, <lo>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, last question, a little bit more interesting. Ah, okay, okay. A bit more juicy. Okay, okay. 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 If this guy invited his girlfriend over without his parents' permission, mm. and he did some freaky things, and then suddenly the siblings came home and found out that she was at home without permission, mm. wow. what do you do? Mm. Wow, this this whole thing right can change a lot uh, based on the age of the person, but he never revealed. Okay, yeah. let's assume ah, uh, let's we assume he's a young boy. No, no, no. Let's paint out a few scenario. First scenario. He is fifteen years old. Uh, it's against the law. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you can bring home. Ah. Play Uno. Tell your parents you all play Uno and you are sorry and kick the girl out of the home immediately. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. now, 25. Oh. Ah, 25. Ah. You are adult enough to make your own decision. And if you still need your mother's permission... No, wait. I have to stop you right there. Why? I do need my mother's permission. Is that how? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I live yeah. I live alone all my life. Yeah. I, I, so, I, I so if you are 25, you do need your parents' permission. But, 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 but. Why? Yeah? Why? You all can go outside. Uh. Oh, can go have a... Wait, 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 wait. Continuing the chain of question. No, 35. Oh, 35. Ah. You still live with your parents. Uh, and your sibling catch you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now 35, how? Yeah. That's why I say the context of what age is this very important. Very important. Ah, but so it... if you are 35 ah. and you bring someone back, then uh, are you the person that have not found someone? Because <laughs> then you are doing a good job. If you have someone like that, 35, you haven't found okay. someone, you bring someone home, good job. <laughs> okay. Good job to you. Kudos okay. to you. Uh, needing your parents' permission, I still respect you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 65! You fucking 65! You're still doing freaky things! I salute you, brother! Your kukuma very strong! I think by the time that this video comes out and we give you the answer, it's too late yeah. for anything. Uh, anything. Yeah. I was actually quite curious what actually happened. If you're watching this video, please let us know what actually happened. Mm. I'm going to assume that the most logical assumption that we can come up with this is you are young. Yes, you're not yes. supposed to. That's yeah. why your siblings caught you. And you and need you your need parents' permission. Parents permission. Mm. So let's just assume you are of a legal age. In that case, if they never caught you in the act, make an excuse. <laughs> and this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> say you're doing project. They say, uh, uh, okay, we are, we are done already. Then uh, just uh, get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay, one okay, day. If I were to bring someone back, yeah, I would tell my parents. Really? Hmm. Then will you tell your parents that you all did freaky things? No lah, so. <laughs> <laughs> No, confirm must tell lah. Ha? Huh? Feel a bit better lah. You, like, so you tell your parents. Wait, you serious? Are, no, you, you tell, tell your parents. Wait, you wait, wait, no, 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 freaky things. things. No, oh, not freaky right, things. Right. Bring back someone. Must tell your parents one. Oh, if not, right. like, you just make yourself more paranoid. Yeah. Then it's not, it's not show. Really. Like, it's not, let's say, not show. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, this is his freaky thing. No, 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 not show. No, it's so that you can watch your movie in peace. You can do your project in peace. What state of undress she is when your siblings call her? It's very important also. Uh, this context right? is very important. Okay, why is it important? Let's say you go back home <laughs> now. Let's okay. say your, you see your younger brother okay, 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 okay. Okay. on the bed with this uh, girl. They are mm. just sitting there. But okay. the girl is just putting on her bra. Versus she's fully clothed with a book on the bed. But I don't think she should be fully clothed. She should be fully clothed. <laughs> <laughs> fully clothed. I call you bro! <laughs> Holy oh, crap! Ah. <laughs> to be fair, ah. I will assume the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> both of them! Right, you will well, assume the same thing. Right. Both of them! Right. 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 Whether right. she naked got clothes, yeah. she wearing a clown suit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is she wearing jacket? Oh. <laughs> and that's all the time we have. Uh, there were like 60 over questions, but we only managed to do 10. If you want to tell us your story, you can fill up the form below mm. in our description box, mm. or maybe leave it in the comments. Please, please, please. 
put in more of your stories. We will yeah. do it uh, anonymously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you all won't feel embarrassed. It's, it's, it's a platform for you all to get it out. Yes. Whatever uh, stories you have, yes. please give me more weird stories. Yeah. I love the weird stories. Yeah, yeah. If you all want unprofessional <laughs> advice from us, which I think yeah. you all should not, uh, <laughs> sure, put it in. We will choose the questions uh, out of all this. Yeah. And maybe your next story will be here yeah. on Get It Out. Again, I would like to remind everybody that we are totally unqualified. Our advice take it with a pinch of salt. This is for entertainment purpose. Yeah. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, then just don't listen. <laughs> we try to be as real as possible. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Maybe next time I put in my own story. Then <laughs> I want you to know. Since you're going to be anonymous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so remember, as always, remember to follow all our socials. Click here for more. Click here to what? And cut to the bloopers. Oh, look! <laughs> I just noticed this! The, you can Whoa. put your brand here! I never knew! Oh my god! Oh my god, who did this, man? Oh my god, did you just so put a TV for everyone to advertise whatever they want? Oh my god, whose Whoa. genius idea is this? Who knew you can do this? Whoa. I didn't know. I, I didn't even know this! Oh never, my god! I didn't know this, this We can this actually here? do that! We could! And it's just contact one email! Oh yeah, my god. right here, business at overkill.sg! It's not that difficult! Oh, it's not oh, that easy! It's probably very cheap also! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs>